singles. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. I'm going to do your singles reading here, January, uh, December 18th, 2022 through January 18th, 2023. All right, Virgo, so if you're new, please do hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoyed my readings. And welcome back to everyone else who's already here and all the members. Um, and hey, everybody in the chat, hope you guys had a great weekend. Okay, so Virgo, be mindful. Some of the messages may or may not resonate or may or may not trans fire for you so just keep that in mind okay and um yeah personal reading link is in the description box below this video all right virgo let's get into this reading let's see what the messages are here for you as a single virgo what does virgo need to know who will be coming in if anyone what the energy will be like with this person how they'll meet and possibly when specifically okay all right, Virgo. Oh, looks like you're going to meet, or you already have, some of you. Maybe you're already communicating with someone who is a Virgo Taurus or Capricorn. And so this is uh, a match for you, like-minded, feminine or masculine energy. Um, hmm. Okay, let me see here. For some, this could be a Taurus. Okay, so... This King of Pentacles, this is someone, the energy shows up with this person. They are very solid and practical as far as being in a leadership position, very wise. They may be an investor into banking um, or they have a good job. Very stable energy. Um, this person's fertile, domesticated, and very resourceful. And I also want to say very sensual, but also um, I guess the word I'm looking for for you is quite maybe a bit reserved this person might seem a bit reserved you know I don't feel like this is someone who wears their heart on their sleeve okay so you're definitely gonna going to be connecting with either a, a well another earth sign is what I feel okay let me see now listen <sighs> seven of pentacles so Virgo you know this person like I said they're a hesitator okay this person now when I say it's an earth sign they could be an earth sign in their sun moon rising Venus or anywhere else in their chart so for some it could be sun for others it could be Venus um, since this is a love reading a singles love reading but I feel like this person is going to take their time connecting with you I feel like their energy is going to be you know how much to put in I feel like it's a slow build with this person as far as getting involved with them okay it's not a rush kind of thing this person's really like a snail and slow pace very patient they may delay um, a lot of waiting energy I feel like there'll be waiting energy with this person um, I'm they're telling me for some of you you may get bored <laughs> maybe there might be a little because they're very serious this person feels very serious I feel like they they're very focused on their work um, but they're very serious when it comes to relationships or picking or choosing they're very look at all this pentacle energy this person is is very um, like uh, financially focused extremely okay um, so this connection with this person slow going um, for some of you, this energy could play out on January 7th, where some type of a decision gets made. It's a lot of contemplation. This person contemplates. And I feel like you might feel, connecting with this person, that they're not interested. I do get a sense you might feel like, you might be like, oh, you're not used to this. Okay? Um, for some of you. For, for others, this just is like, yeah, that, that's how you are. Okay? So there's a similarity here. Okay. Huh. Four of Swords, wow. So there's an energy with this relationship where it's kind of like there's a lot of retreating. <laughs> Virgo, this this is not someone who's going to rush in. They're, they're not someone who's on their soapbox. They're not someone who's going to rush in and swoop you off your feet or give you all the, the good feels, like crazy good feels 
it's like this person approaches relationships. They're very routine, methodical, and they approach their relationships where they, they step back, they take time to themselves. They're very quiet to try to like figure out, you know, what's the next step. They think a lot. This person is a deep thinker or maybe even an overthinker to avoid conflict. So very calculated and meticulous about the way that they approach relationships. Okay. Um, their communication I don't feel like this is someone who's like a really big texter. They're not a big phone person. In other words, they'll call, make plans. Um, I feel like this person will use the phone or email or texting in order to make plans. They're not someone who will have a relationship on through texting or, you know, any other electronic means. They want the real deal the real thing because that's what pentacle energy is it's all about the physical okay so this person wants the real deal if there's conflict or problems they step back okay so yeah i do feel like Virgo, you're you're definitely somebody's showing up here who is sitting in that masculine feminine pentacle energy okay let me take a look and see you when you meet this person Okay, well, there you are, Virgo, right there, Nine of Pentacles. This, it's just like a complete, total match. You guys are exactly, it just feels very much exactly the same. Nine of Pentacles is like very stable, looking really good. Um, you're attracting this person to you, Virgo? Definitely. Let me just take a look, a little bit more here of you. Okay. Hmm. Now you have the five of swords and the seven of swords. Okay. So you're really in this position of like, I'm going to cut anybody off who's bringing in any kind of shenanigans or any kind of betrayal or sneaking around or doing anything like that. Like Virgo, you are, I feel like you have been through and you are like standing here, like, only accepting the best. You don't. You're not. You don't settle for less when you're in the Nine of Pentacles energy. Okay, so you are at the ready to break something off if somebody just even makes the slightest maneuver of lying, or cheating, or being dishonest, or anyone that just gets involved and then runs away. I feel like. Um, yeah, you're. You just seem. Maybe you've been through that kind of stuff before with someone. So. You've got all your faculties together. You're looking good. You, your money's good in the bank. You have your career lined up. Your health is good. Or at least you're feeling some of those areas, if not all, are pretty much stable or will be more stable. Yep, look at that. Three of swords. You're just like not... <laughs> You're in a, I don't even, it's like I can't even talk. You're just in this mindset of like, you're not settling for less. No third party cheating um, lies or anything like that. You're not, you're not dealing with that. I don't feel like this person comes in this way. I feel like this person actually comes in very slow and that might set you off a little because I feel like your mind, you're also a thinker some of you, not all of you, but you're also a thinker. And I feel like your mindset might be, okay, well, this person's not talking a lot. They don't text a lot. They don't respond fast. Um, they seem to withdraw. Um, and you might kind of feel like that this energy is happening again with someone new here, but I don't see that on this person's end. If anything, if they sense that you're extremely touchy or, you know, like, you have your dukes up in case that happens they might actually pull away because they might not be sure they don't want to cause any problems or you know um or f i i feel like just be careful virgo if you're going to meet somebody and you're still in this energy you might not be ready just yet you might have like some triggers okay but i don't see this person coming in with this energy this is coming from your side here yeah, okay. Let me just leave that here. Let's take a look um, how the relationship will go. Because I feel like these were these are going to be the characteristics of that person, the characteristics of you. You're a little touchy here, and that's fine. If you've been through something difficult, um, one thing I will say, don't make the next person pay for what the past person did. 
Um, be very mindful of that. Okay. First of all, I'm going to ask how will you meet each other and Three of Pentacles is here. So you might meet at work or in an office setting or in a school, a school setting um, or university or college or some type of training situation or event or um, um, something to do with training I'm hearing. Um, where skills are being used, teamwork could be involved in some way. So some of you might meet this person. Um, it's connected to finances also and money. Now, some of you might meet this person over the holidays, like around Christmas as well, at some kind of, could be like a celebration where there's family, friends, a reunion, or um, a Christmas party as well if you're going to a Christmas party or a work party um, let's see it could be a wedding also or um, some type of celebratory event definitely some of you might meet this person there as well okay now some of you might also meet this person while you're paying for something okay whatever you're paying for or leaving a tip or paying in a restaurant. It's something that you're paying for, for goods or services. And this person is in the position of um, receiving what you're paying for. Now for others, they could be paying you for something. So it could be, um, oh gosh, anything. There's like a thousand things. Wherever you're taking a credit card or a debit card or cash out of your pocket or vice versa and paying for something, I feel like some of you will meet a person while you're transferring some funds somewhere in some way. Okay, let me just give me two cards. Okay, um, now some of you might meet this person. Also, I'm hearing um, on a flight or on some type of a transportation, by transportation means. So it could be a flight, could be um, on a train, um, in an Uber, or some, or taxi, maybe sharing a cab. I don't know if people still do that, I guess they do. Um, yeah, so there's four different scenarios. It's not four different people, it's four different scenarios. Some of you could bump into this person uh, a few times in these scenarios, okay? Okay, now I'm just getting a very strange message because the Two of Swords popped out. Some of you have already connected with this person and there was um, a block. Somebody blocked somebody. Um, that's very specific and for a very small percent of you. So you might already know this person um, and I'm not seeing like a reconciliation. Um, some of you may already have this person blocked, and for others, hold on. Oh, okay. Queen of Swords. Okay, okay. All right, I I'm just going to give the message. Remember the beginning scenario I was telling you about? This person is so slow. And like I said, they're not rushing. Some of you might make it because I feel like you seem to be like that. One of the questions would be, how do you know if you're ready for a new relationship? Virgo, I feel like some of you are not just you're not ready yet within like that month's period. You're not ready yet. And I feel like some of you are hypersensitive to another could still be hypersensitive to certain things that people do, which might still be triggering you. And I feel like with this person being so slow, not texting back a lot, um, or not calling a lot, um, they might be conflict avoidant, stuff like that. I feel like this person, um, you might all just make quick assumptions that this person is not interested and then you might block them or cut them off 
or like give some clarity, like you're making a decision. You don't want to date this person. Okay. I just want to say that because look, life is life. It's not always rainbow and glitter. Sometimes we do meet people and we get excited and then something doesn't, something's off. And sometimes there's like, oh man, I thought this was something good. And now I'm blocking, I don't want to date this person. Okay. For some of you, there is that scenario and I have to give it, I have to give the message. Um, if you feel like Virgo, and this is like your big sis telling you, if you feel like you're still triggered or you're not quite through your healing process yet, be careful because you could get yourself in a rebound relationship or you could um, find yourself you know, investing a lot in a relationship and then finding out that, okay, wait, maybe you're not ready or you, but you might blame it on another person and say it was them. It's like really important to take a look at that. If you're completely ready and you're not being triggered. Okay. Um, I feel like some of you might have a conversation with a person, this person, and just kind of be like, why is it taking you so long? Like, why do you keep pulling away? Like, can you explain it to me? Not in an accusatory way, but just kind of like, can you tell me, like, is, is this your character? Is this how you are? Or ask like certain questions, right? Because the Queen of Swords is all about truth. It's all about like seeking clarity and truth so that she can make a decision going forward, right? Because, you know, in any relationship, when you're in the discovery phase, you want to ask questions and you want to know as much as you can about the person as, you know, time goes by. So a lot of you, the majority of you, I think will be very curious and inquisitive um, and, and trying also to take what's told to you and intuit the messages even maybe before asking questions, you're trying to sort things out in your mind. Like, why is this person so damn slow? You know, do they have other problems? Are they, do they pull away or go quiet? Cause they have other conflicts and stuff like that. Are they not even ready to get into a relationship? Are they just like, are they passive aggressive? Like a lot of questions falling here for you. And I feel like, yeah, you will meet somebody definitely. It's almost as if the advice is for you to like kind of, as you're talking to this person, get to know them. You know, um, a lot of times everyone's worried like, oh, you know, I don't want to spill the beans or say too much, but I feel like it's really for you is kind of like, I don't know, maybe interview them a little bit, get to know them, what they're about, um, find out things. Cause you, you know, I don't know if this is going to be somebody that you're going to meet through friends. It could be some of you, um, it could be a situation where you haven't seen each other in a long time and you reconnect because the four of wands for some of you. That is a reunion card and some of you might have had this person blocked if you knew them before and you reconnect with them again. So there might be a lot of like, okay, why did you pull away? Why did things take so long for you? Why, um, like, what was it? Was it something I said? Is it, is what, like, what was going on? Right? So I do feel like there might be a conversation with a person that while right now you're single, you reconnect with this person. And then there's like some kind of talk, like, talk to me, tell me what happened. You know, I don't understand. Maybe some of you might say, I don't understand why something ended, or I don't understand if you were so into me, you know, I was so into you, we were, things were going well, why you pulled away, right? So some of those conversations, I feel like you're going to play out as far as, you know, where you are right now. All right, let me see. I just want to get a couple of extra messages here. Okay. So you have the six of swords. So this is about the end of some challenging times and things beginning to look up for you. There's a welcome relief. There's finding your way to a peaceful place, the end of depression or an illness. There's also travel involved in this connecting with this person or relocation. Okay. Somebody might say, Hey, I just moved to your area, you know, or something along those lines, or, you, you know, you might say that. Okay. And you have the two of cups. So there's a falling in love or the resurgence of a romantic relationship. There's forgiveness and the ending of challenges. Now that's twice the end of a challenging time, forgiveness and 
yes, exchanging gifts. Also, there could be an exchange of gifts in the holidays. And the message here is don't give up on people that you love, okay? Whatever the gripes are, um, somebody might be 62 or born in 1962. So if there's any gripes, um, I feel like there's going to be an opportunity to kind of talk about stuff. Okay. Wow. Awakening. Okay. So we have the initials G. We have a C. And we have an R and there's a letter P. Um, there's a temporary pause for reflection and insight. There's also an awakening where you'll be able to see things in a whole new light. Um, and embracing your own uniqueness. Okay, so Piscean energy there for sure. Okay, so if you're connected, or you like there's a like the Piscean energy is is a lot about um dreaming i feel like dreaming maybe you've been getting a lot of dreams and when you wake up you're remembering your dreams and you're trying to understand or figure out what the heck that means that dream meant right i'm not going to tell you because i don't really know but there's also renewal here and um, we also have the letter j and the letter e so there's a reviewing of the past with compassion and forgiveness again time to head in a new direction there's clarity on your life purpose and in your heart, you will know what to do. Okay. Hmm. Very interesting. All right. Let me see if we can figure out what this person's uh, Chinese sign is. What is this person's Chinese sign? You know, somebody's getting some gifts for Christmas. Okay. Year of the rabbit. Year of the monkey. Year of the ox. Year of the rat. Year of the Dragon, we have a rat again, Year of the Pig, Year of the Snake, Year of the Rooster, oh, and they said get one more, I feel like the Rooster always shows up lately, okay, Year of the Dog, okay, so yeah, that could be you, it could be your person, um, it could be both of you or none, like I always say, um, Take it with a grain of salt. Don't try to force it to fit. You can't with those because, <laughs> you know, your sign, your Chinese sign is what your Chinese sign. If you don't know what it is, just Google your year of birth. Look up Chinese sign, type in your year of birth, and that will tell you what your Chinese sign is. Okay, let's get some oracle messages here for you. What are the messages of love? Oracle messages of love for you, Virgo singles okay oh marriage this relationship will move towards marriage or a sacred union wow okay okay also play hard find time to laugh goof off and enjoy each other during this time period so this is really just about uh don't sweat it don't overthink it just try to relax and have a good time have some um i don't know some merry drinks if you like to have some drinks um uh, just try to get yourself in a very festive mood if you're dating and just, you know, find that time to laugh and be silly and just enjoy yourself, another person or other people. Okay, spiritual lesson. This person is in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson, Virgo. What? Hmm. Okay. And also release. Radical acceptance. Surrender can help you let go. Okay, Virgo. I like that. All right, let me see how much time do we have. 24 minutes, so done. All right, let me get a couple of charms here. See what your charm is going to be, short and sweet. Oh, wow, you have the Dove of Peace. Beautiful. And you have a bee, a honeybee. Very nice. Okay, the Dove of Peace. That always reminds me of the holiday season, Christmas. Coming in peace. Bringing peace to a situation or finding a peaceful solution to making something work. I feel like, you know, I, I do see like a little, a little bit of um, push and pull, a little tug of war, a little bit here. It's minor. I don't see like anything major. I feel like if you're able to, if you're both able to just, just sit down and have a, a conversation or just talk about stuff without, you know, being reactive or getting too upset about anything or stressed or frustrated. I feel like it's just about clearing the air and Virgo, you'll probably be the one to do it because you know, you're kind of showing up there with the queen of swords, 
right? Now I will bring one caveat and I just feel like I need to say this for the Virgo men. Um, you might meet somebody here who is an air sign. Okay. And this air sign, um, is a bit combative and it might make you pull away. It might make you slow your roll a little bit. And if there's kind of arguments or some conflict or something, you might pull back a little bit, but I feel like, you know, if, if you can just bring peace to this situation and clarity and truth to this person, because I feel like for you Virgo men, you're going to be crazy attracted to this, you know, if whoever your preference is, crazy attracted to this person. And um, this person, um, you know, male or female, whatever you're attracted to, they show up as like the whole nine yards. But then there's this other thing um, that happens with them you know, where they maybe have been through cheating scenarios or had their heart broken. So they're little, that might be a little bit on edge. Um, and you probably might want to just pull back a little bit, not add any fuel to the fire. And then that actually will add fuel to the fire. Um, unless you're being abused, if you're being abused, then you just got to cut it off. But, um, the best thing I feel like the message for you, Virgo males, masculines, is to just pretty much say, look, I'm not comfortable with the conversation we're having. I'm not comfortable with, you know, the things that you are saying. Um, maybe it's better if we just wait till there's a cool off period and then we can actually sit and discuss things, right? Um, because you might be dealing with someone or you might connect or, or connect with this person where, you know, it's like, I don't know. They're just telling me, why are all the beautiful ones so crazy? <laughs> I'm just hearing that. I don't know. Um, listen, or you just stay single. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. You could just stay single, right? What's the better option? I don't know. Some of you are like, yeah, no, I don't want to meet anybody. I'm good. <laughs> I'm just here listening to the reading. I get it. And some of the, the feminines are saying the same thing. I get it. Um, I just want to get a couple of romance angels messages here. What are the romance angels messages for our Virgo singles? <clears throat> okay, codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life. So that might be something there for you to pay attention to. Okay, for some of you. Let me see. Might have some codependency issues to work on. Some of you need to release an X. Release the energy. Okay. You may already be released from an ex, but the energy might still be there. You might still be rereading old texts or looking at old letters or looking them up on social media. And so you're keeping the energy alive, even if you're not with this. But I know people who haven't have been apart from their ex for 10 years, but they still keep their energy alive. Okay. They haven't released, you know, energy is, 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 is a, is a, I want to say a fluid thing, but, you know, energy just, it needs to constantly have a source to keep it going, you know, and um, some of you may need to really remove some of the sources of the energy of the X, okay? Um, that could have something to do with a trigger or this other person that you could be connecting with. Um, there's a lot of codependency on somebody's side here. They could still be addicted to the energy of the ex as well. So there's something there to take a look at. I feel like my readings always go into the deep psychological stuff. Forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. So that's it. Love cannot come in until the energy of the past or the ex is completely gone. And then give the relationship a chance. Work on the partnership, right? Um, I don't know specifically who those messages are for, but they're definitely for somebody. Sorry if that was loud. Okay, we have Libra, uh, Aquarius, Scorpio, and Pisces. Um, okay, somebody is 48 years of age. Somebody born in 1986. Somebody is 40. Um, okay. Let's see, 70 born 1982. Um, okay, they're giving me the numbers 103. So that's specific for someone. And I'm also getting 36. Maybe it's an age, 36. Okay, let me see what the Virgo birthdays are here. Okay, September 9th. Um, somebody who's born in 69, we also have Cancer, uh, Libra, Leo, and Capricorn. Okay, September 14th, September 8th. Um, let's see, 
someone's born in 1970, somebody is 51, and uh, somebody born in 1958, okay, or is 58, all right, let me see, August, September birthdays, show us more. Oh, also, I forgot to mention the honeybee. I forgot all about that. Um, and the bird here. Gosh, it's like I skipped right over it. So, yeah, this is this bird is in flight, and it feels like a dove. Maybe you're getting um, visits from specific types of birds, which would represent um, somebody looking out for you or, or a spirit visiting you. Um, so if that's happening to you, keep in mind Um that, that that is exactly what is happening. That is definitely what is happening. So this honeybee, okay, somebody might need honey right now. They have a sore throat or is drinking some honey with tea. Um, somebody's initial might start with the letter B as well. Wow, this just ended on zero, zero, landed on zero, zero. So I feel like this is a new beginning for two people. That's what the zero is, the fool, fresh hope, taking chances, new paths and adventures and new beginnings. Okay, so September 20th. Um, ooh, do you hear that ding? Very important. <laughs> so, um, September 17th, I just got. August 23rd, August 27th, 25th and 26th. Um, 510, specific. Uh, number 620 as well. Okay. All right. I'm going to leave those there. I just want to get one more message for you, Virgo. And it's going to be, I just want to get a moon message. One moon message for Virgo. And then I'm going to leave your reading there for you. And I'll be back on the 19th, the 20th. 21st and Thursday the 22nd I will leave for you your weekend new moon holiday reading and um, I'm not sure when I'll be back I don't think I'll be back on Sunday Christmas <laughs> I probably won't but I'll, I'll do my best as long as you have the notification bell ticked you'll know when I upload my next video so make sure that's oh you have that alert set okay so you have third quarter moon. Adjustments are required during this situation. Adjustments are required for you. I want to get one more here. Okay. And you have the north node. Step out of your comfort zone, Virgo. Wow. Um, your comfort zone is going to be where your north node is. So you're going to have to go and get your birth chart, your natal chart. You can just... Google it. I think you go cafeastrology.com and get your natal chart. So stepping out of your comfort zone would be stepping into whatever zodiac sign your north node is, is in, which would be opposite. Okay. And you're very close to achieving your goal. Very good. Oh, all right, you guys. So sorry, the baby's crying. He's been sick. He's had the RSV virus. And it's just going around. I had it, we found out, and my son has it. And so I hope you guys are all healthy and well. I'm going to end your reading now. And I will see you guys back here very soon. All right, take care.